Hey gamers, what's going on? How you doing? Horse Six Zero here, coming to you live from the other side of the sites. How y'all doing? Well, since it's New Year's Eve, Horse Six Zero just cracked his first beer. Just want to send out a uh, happy New Year to you all, and remember we have our troops deployed. Please keep them in your hearts and prayers. Here's one for the troops, man. Happy New Year, guys and gals. Godspeed home. Now, you're probably sitting here wondering, Horse 6 Zero, what the hell do you have an Ubisoft film about Ghost Recon Future Soldier playing while you're doing your commentary? <clears throat> well, the reason I do that is because I figured, hey, I'll give you guys a little something to watch while I'm talking about Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield's latest blunder on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, if you look at the graphic that I had originally on here, he's talking about banning reverse boosters on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, you guys know what reverse boosting is, and I'm not going to go into detail about it. But what I am going to talk about is they're only acting upon this because MLG is complaining about it. Obviously, MLG is going out into lobbies. You know what they do, right? They go out and they lobby surf until they find what looks to be the weakest lobby and they think they're going to get their 100 kill game on ground war, domination, or kill confirmed, or whatever the game may be. And the next thing you know, these guys are probably running into some very good players who have reverse boosted and are ruining their attempts to create YouTube feeds for their channels. Excuse me. That's the only way that this would actually be acted on because, as you know, after the first week of Call of Duty, when we found out that it was hacked, they tried to patch it. They're still trying to patch it because hackers are still hacking Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. The issue of reverse boosting came about and it was identified very quickly the problem with it is now is that it is all over the place man it is a scourge for those folks who have bought advanced warfare who are trying to have an enjoyable time and now they're running into these very good pub stompers and it's ruining their experience now, if you went on to the feed of this of this Twitter posting that Michael Condry did, he says, well, we're going to start banning these folks. Well, here's a little bit of business 101 for you, Mikey. Maybe you should have not have released the game until all of the bugs were fixed, until you tested it, retested it, and tested it again to make sure that it was a viable product for the consumable market, which it's not. A lot of people say that lag is the biggest problem in the game. Well, folks, had they not put in that skill-based matchmaking, you wouldn't have those problems right now with lag. Because what happens? Say I went on there, like I did when I did my test run on it and gave my review a few weeks ago, and I finished, I think, with a 2.9 or 2.98 overall. Well, I was starting to get put into lobbies where I was running into really heavy lag because of skill-based matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking is the problem with Call of Duty. It's not the lag, it's not the quick scopers, it's not the riot shield, it's not the blast shield. Those are supplemental problems to the overall game of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but the number one issue is skill-based matchmaking. Like I said in previous videos, folks, they have folks out there who are selling ghost accounts for $10 with 50 million deaths on them. So if you have a very high KD, you can go and you can purchase this ghost account, play it, 
and just beat up on people. They just might as well have put the tact insert back into the game because this is ruining the experience not for just the casual gamer but for the hardcore gamer as well and that's really sad Mike and Glenn that it has come to fruition that MLG has you under their thumb and they will say jump and you will say how high that's really sad if the guys from I don't know man I might be aging myself a little bit here but there was a show back in the late 70s okay and it was called emergency and and they were paramedics and they would get their call and you know the horn went ah, 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 and they came down the pipe and they ran out and they took care of business right well it's the same thing here this affirms as I've said before everything that Arch Nemesis 06 and I have said about Major League Gaming Major League Gaming cannot sustain their YouTube content unless they can go out and they can pub stomp. They can't do it because their their subscribers expect them to have a 100 kill game almost every time or go 30 and 0 in free for all every time. I have no sympathy for MLG. I don't care about the pressure they feel when it comes to playing some stupid fucking video game, okay? You made that choice to do what you do. You live with the decision that you made. But here's the thing, Mike and Glenn. It's business 101. Never allow the little man to hold you under their thumb. Never allow the big man to hold you under their thumb. You're getting it from both ways, like a porn star in a three-way right now. You are. You're getting it from the front, you're getting it from the back, because in the front, you got to deal with Activision. In the back, you got to deal with these MLG pogues, man. So if you're under pressure for that, you know, as a businessman, I have to sympathize with you just a little bit. But business-wise, I would tell Activision and MLG to go fuck themselves. Now, here's the other thing, folks. Here's point number two. Let's look at the amount of man hours that it's going to take for Activision Enforcement and Sledgehammer. You know, Sledgehammer is going to be like, oh, we're, we're dropping a Sledge Ban Hammer and things like that. Really? I thought that was Activision's uh, job to do that. Why are you going to be sifting through? millions of profiles to ban people now if you were smart here's a little bit of business advice 101 now if I was in charge this is how I would go about it folks okay. Talk to me. if I was in charge of Sledgehammer Studios and I received a list of gamers who have false accounts not only would I ban Negative. both gamer tags but I would console ban I would cancel their season pass I would ban them from attaining a season pass and I would ban them from attaining micro DLC see when you start hitting people in their pocket because you know they're like a lot of people out there and the way kids are nowadays they're like aha you got banned you can't get the camel you can't get the guns you don't get the maps ha 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 oh you have your mom and dad has to buy you a new Xbox one or an Xbox 360 or PS3 PS4 the cruelty of kids nowadays, that's what's going to happen, man. That's what's going to happen. And to those folks out there who are between the ages of 15 to 40 and doing this, you are sorry. You are absolutely fucking sorry. To do that in a video game goes to prove the type of character of the person you are. You have to cheat to get ahead. You have to cheat. Look. I, I understand in gaming, man, the best way to win is to cheat, but there's a way of cheating, and there's a way of cheating the good way. And when I say cheating the good way, that's running with five other players playing team deathmatch and making you work to feed our gun sites, to feed our kill streaks, or score streaks, and whatnot, and you call us cheaters. 
We're not cheaters. We're just better players than you. That's all. But yet I digress. Reverse boosting. Should it be banned? Yes, it should. Just like whoever was using the tack insert and and boosting in the legacy cods. Yes, you are sorry fucking individuals, man. And what you're doing is you're leaving a footprint on the Call of Duty universe making everybody look bad. So if you if you have no empathy about that, if you don't give a fuck about that, you deserve to have your console banned, banned from Xbox Live, banned from PS Network, IP shut down, everything. Take you out of the equation, and the universe will be a lot better place. That's what you need to do, Mike and Glenn. You need to fucking outsource that shit, because what you guys need to focus on is your broken game. That's what you need to do. You have a skill-based matchmaking problem, a reverse boosting problem, because people are tired of going into these lobbies to go up against someone in Brazil or South Africa and Australia and losing a lag fight. It's not a gunfight anymore. It's a lag fight. Okay, folks? Hashtag lag fight. Put it out there on the Twitter, folks. Hashtag lag fight. Okay? Remember that. That's what I'm talking about, Mike and Glenn. It's simple business 101, and you guys have to stop listening to MLG and do your jobs as developers. You need to tell MLG to go fuck themselves for a little bit because you have a bigger problem than Nade Shot not being able to put out a 100 kill game on his YouTube. Or uh, one of these clowns like uh, from whatever fucking MLG teams out there. Complexity phase and all those clowns, okay? I'm not trying to harp on you guys. I'm trying to help you guys. That's what I'm trying to do. But if you don't want to listen to a small YouTuber like me, hey man, that's all well and good. That's all you, bro. That's all you. But you know what, man? We had a saying in the army there's always somebody out there who has a better idea. If you don't want to listen to me, that's fine. Just remember fix your fucking game. So those gamers who did purchase the game can have a better gaming experience. These bans, they're not going to work if you don't take away all their privileges. It's just like getting grounded. You can't have your phone, your TV, your gaming system, nothing. You're locked in your fucking room and they're reading a book. Same thing as getting a DUI. Get a DUI, what do you do? You lose your license, you lose your car, you lose your privileges, you lose your insurance. Everything's gone, man. It's all about privileges. Having an account on Xbox Live, we pay for an Xbox Live membership. But hey, per those terms of service and terms of agreement that we have to uh, digitally sign, if they're breaking them, that's a loss of privileges, man. It's all about the loss of privileges. Take that shit away from them, and you have a better environment for your gamers. I'm just saying, that's what you have to do, Mike and Glenn. You have to shut them down and hit them in the pocket. If you don't, you're going to keep dealing with this problem. Now remember, your life cycle for this game, so far, is supposedly one to two years of replayability. Look, you've lost that option already. Skill-based matchmaking has poisoned your game to the point where nobody wants to play it. Your sales are down. Your your Steam plays are down. Uh, you're way down in the Twitch channel count. This is the lowest selling Call of Duty of all time. There's, from what I'm seeing and from what I'm talking about with my buddies at work who play Call of Duty, they're having problems getting into lobbies because it's so hard to find a, a viable lobby of gamers at that same level. You guys have a huge problem. So my advice is, everything I've said in this video, shut down their accounts, shut off their boxes, shut everything down. And on that note, folks, Please have a very safe New Year's. New Year's is coming up on us real quick. I wish you all a very happy New Year. From the Horse X Zero channel to you and yours. But do the right thing, folks. Remember, alcohol and attitude will get you in trouble. Okay? Do the right thing. Make the right decision. We had a saying in the Army. Stay alert. Stay alive. Don't drink and drive.
have a designated driver. Okay? And remember, tomorrow night, from 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that would be 6 to 7 Pacific Standard Time, 460 will be hosting his digital town hall with gamers. Come and talk to Horus 60 All you have to do is send me a direct message with your Gmail account. I'll invite you. I look forward to it. Have a very happy new year. We'll see you in 2015. My helos here, folks. 460 is RTB. Out.
Еще четыре. Fail. Aim is so slow. Has to be faster.
Didn't even see him. <clears throat> awesome. Payback. Wasted. Darn it. Hit markers all day. That's amazing. Payback. Did I get a single kill in like the last ten minutes? Assassination. I guess that uh, kills a dry streak, but damn. I remember why I stopped using this gun. <laughs> Darn it. One second left. I definitely need to get some energy drinks or something. I'm not going so slow. Believe it or not, okay. Believe it or not, I have no energy drinks whatsoever. I'm gonna make that gun work still though. MK14 is where it's at. Even though everyone says it sucks. Oh my god. Well 
Well done. Vengeance. That's incredible. Vengeance. That's amazing. Payback. Vengeance. Headshot. Very funny movement. That behind me. Having a hard time justifying this gun over the IMR. Payback. Maybe I'll find this niche soon. Wow. His lobby died. Hit markers for days. That gun's going to the garbage. Look at how slow that is. It's disgusting. One, two, three. Okay. Epic. 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 
Epic. Invincible. Well done. That's incredible. Wasted. That's amazing. That's always incredible. Well done. Unstoppable. It's not match. Thirty-seven seconds. In the lobby already. Have you seen that many markers? That's crazy. That was crazy. God damn! Awesome. Fucking asshole. Payback. <laughs> yes, feed me. I need that uh, hate. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but whenever someone rages. That just makes my day. Oh god, I hate this stage so much. Damn that grenade.
Wasted. 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 Vengeance. Get the frick out of there. Guy behind me. Is that a friendly? You right now, huh? Oh, bro. Bro. Nigga, I'm, in North, I'm in North Stack right nigga, now. Nigga, bro. Nigga, 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 nigga. All day, nigga, North Stack. What's happening? El Bro Boulevard. Man. That's El Bro come. Boulevard. Hey. Sure thing kills him. Link's tax driver, come on. Tax driver. Okay, so what do you, what do we want to switch that with? Yes, an LMG. That'll be fun. Where'd all my LMGs go? Add a couple of Pytex in here. Dude, um, I just got lucky. I was able to log in.
this looks like it's gonna be a slow match. Very slow. Down my right. Payback. Assassination. Can I chase him down? Awesome. Double kill. Reloading, reloading. Invincible. Ah. Oh god. That's amazing. Vengeance. Figures. Assassination, vengeance, double kill. It's a clan. Amazing. Awesome. Payback. That's amazing. Assassination. Yeah, 
can use. I'm waiting for Martin to poke the table. I'm to poke the little sight. It was based on Palma and Palm. The Palm and uh, Oh God. And Sam uh, Wong. Okay, so I think we're just gonna get rid of that one. The Snake oil I want to keep, sweep I want to keep, I already have a good thunder test class. It's not gonna bust out. Tent, oh my god, such lag. Really heavy. Three hit kill, all ranges. The only problem? It kicks a little bit. So if I get rid of that, go like that. We'll see what the kick is like. Hey Stock, yeah, it's uh, working occasionally keep trying to sometimes get on once you get on don't don't exit because you won't get back on if you leave. People in their mics joining, I swear. First blood. It's like, really? Why join a lobby with an open mic like that? That sucks. I blame the guy with the mic. Two of them, hey? Right, holy. The reload is not too bad on this one. The Pi Tech is just painful. Happens every lobby. The enemy team leaves.
Not quite, man. It's coming back up, but slowly. That's amazing. Payback. Friendly UAV above. Bad timing. That's amazing. That's incredible. Payback. Too many. That's amazing. Double kill. Awesome. Two shots. Oh, Joshua Pearson. What's going on, man? I hate it when that happens sometimes. Usually it's pretty good when you're right in their face. You can get away with stuff like that. Especially when they're Payback. not paying attention to you. Sometimes though, you whiff on every bullet you shoot. That's amazing. Wasted. Vengeance. Awesome. In the UAV above. Any care package Invincible. Vengeance. Incoming enemy care package. Wow. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Foolish mistake. Okay, so that heavy, I think that heavy has a lot of potential. We can drop quick draw. No, but that really improves our close time to kill. Hey, what's up, Joseph?
Yes, I do use SMGs. I use every gun. Right now, uh, I'm using this uh, Amelie Heavy because according to the stats on it, it just like the Amelie Subverter has a three hit kill at all ranges, but uh, has doesn't have the loss in uh, clip clip size. Hey Tyrese, what's going on, man? Did you? I, I saw I saw your video. Yeah, man, I saw that. I saw you posted a video getting the capture card, just doing a, a box opening. That was great, man. I was watching it like two in the morning, and it really made my night. First blood. Oh, this is going to be another slow match, I think. A lot of their teammates are AFK. Guys, uh, behind me. That's one downside of the LMGs. You have lead boots. Guy in that corner. I'm gonna surprise him. Awesome. Let's re-engage. Man, my controller feels really clunky today. Wasted. Take this time to sort shit out. Damn, they're gonna get those ones. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thought I could outrace his bullets. If I had an SMG, I could zip and dodge all around. I'm gonna try it again. That's amazing. Payback. Thank you, teammates, for giving me that kill. Awesome. Vengeance. Invincible. Fail. Vengeance. I have a route planned. For real? That was unlucky. That was unlucky. Running into a random nade. Bye. 
back. That's amazing. Awesome. Let's take a break. Let's sort shit out. Well done, Sentinel. Oh, really, Tyrese? Holy crap. Dude, I'll check out your video uh, as soon as um, I'm done the stream. Oh, tips for Advanced Warfare? Um, it's more of a Twitch shooter than uh, um, a map awareness shooter. I don't have a good word for it, but MW3, for example, you can make up for bad aim just by uh, predicting enemy spawns and enemy rotations throughout the map. In this game, it's not quite so easy, unfortunately. So it, it relies more on uh, just fast reaction and fast aim. Unfortunately, I'm a bit rusty on that. Oh god. Killzone, I tried the uh, MP11. It was actually the, my first gun, first SMG that I tried. And I haven't really explored it too deeply. Obviously, I'm using the ASM1. I, I picked, once I found the ASM1, and it's just effective at all ranges, I just kind of stuck to it. But obviously, you start to get bored of easy guns, and you start moving, rotating throughout the list. And that's what I'm doing now with the melee and then the Pytech, for example. of speed man I tried something not trying that again Dang, I'm liking this gun. Awesome. It feels, it feels like the L86. You can't go prone and go beast mode like the L86, but it's really close, man. It's starting to feel good. Payback. Headshot. Guy behind me. Show your face. I had a move there I was trying, but I got hung up on it. And I kind of hesitated. This will be a bit risky.
That's amazing. Headshot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's amazing. Wasted. Fuck. Awesome. I awesome. screwed that up big time. I had a feed. Double kill. That's incredible. Payback. Fuck, this sounds That's good. That's amazing. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh. I keep forgetting to watch my language. Awesome. That's incredible. Awesome. That's amazing. Wasted. Vengeance. Our UAV is online. Well, that's how it's done. RTP for deep reach. Hey, dude, your mic is pretty loud. It's picking up all the noise in your, in your room. Retrieval? Now what can I drop here? Oh, my controller died. Well done. 
Vengeance! I'm gonna try a direct breach. Oh, and we lost it. Double kill. Assassination. Headshot. Invincible. Double kill. Assassination. Oh, these are my kills. Vengeance. Unstoppable. Assassination. <laughs> That's what I get. How many games have I played? Uh, tonight? Just a couple. Oh, I want to penetrate. Wasted. But penetration really sucks in Vengeance. this game. It's virtually impossible. Incredible. That's amazing. Payback. Double kill. Saw him last second. Move it, move it, move it, move it. That's amazing. Awesome. Payback. Controller died again. God damn. Awesome. Headshot. Spawn flip. Invincible. Awesome. Assassination. Hey, what's up, Tom?
Come on, guys. Um, attack driver. Italy. No, I have no luck. Okay, I'm ending the stream there. I'm gonna get to bed early tonight. I'll see you guys around. If you wanna watch some more, just I play at the same time every night. 11 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. See you guys. Hello and welcome. I am Republic of Sandless and this is my video review for Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty is a long-running first-person shooter series and has become one of the most popular computer game series in history. It's renowned for its fast-paced and addictive gameplay and Call of Duty Ghosts continues some of these traditions with some minor improvements and a couple of rather unusual design decisions which don't necessarily work out for the best but are at the very least an honest effort on the part of Infinity Ward, the developer, to revive the series. Regrettably, Call of Duty Ghosts is probably the last major installment of Call of Duty from a purely profitable perspective for quite some time. It's really not the revival of the series that would have been needed in order to keep it afloat. This review will cover the multiplayer components of Call of Duty Ghosts, the single player campaign of Call of Duty Ghosts, and the single and cooperative campaign of Extinction Mode. I'm going to start this review with the single player campaign. Many people who play Call of Duty completely gloss over the single player campaign and it seems that Activision have decided not to fight this and rather to just produce an essentially half-assed single player campaign. And it is very half-assed, basically a collection of bizarre mini-games jammed together and paced in such a way that you get so little time with any particular game mechanic that everything feels shallow and watered down. Okay, admittedly you're not bored at any point while playing the game, but you don't feel in any way fulfilled either. The game's narrative is terrible. It focuses on this father and son's dynamic, which doesn't seem at all relatable. I understand that for some people who are from military families, this thing might be relatable. You might think, oh yeah, I was with my dad and he joined the US Army Rangers and then I joined the US Army Rangers and so this is relatable to me. But for me, a European who doesn't have any affiliations with the armed forces, it doesn't make any sense. Speaking of the whole European thing, I couldn't help but notice that the villains in this storyline use the same flag, okay, not exactly the same flag, but they use the 12 stars of the European Union flag, which is rather strange. They're supposed to be Latin American, but it seems like Infinity Ward, the developers, just decided to go, hey, let's just pick those Xenos over there, those other nationalities, and say that they're coming to get us, because we can't very well do another storyline about the bloody Russians. Also, you're supposed to care about the dog uh, in the storyline, a lot. As one reviewer remarked, they spend more time mourning the dog than they do mourning the black guy who gets shot early on, which seemed rather strange. The dog is just a plot and gameplay device. I couldn't for the life of me feel any sort of attachment for the dog. They keep talking about the dog, they keep mentioning the dog by name, but the dog, called Riley, never seemed at all relevant to me. The villain doesn't seem to make any sort of sense. The principal antagonist doesn't seem to make any sense to me. Apparently, he's this indoctrinated US soldier 
who turned rogue and decided to join with the Latin Americans to, I don't know, undermine the world or something. But it just doesn't seem at all plausible that he would suddenly turn into this, um, well, from an American armed forces killing machine to a Latin American armed forces killing machine. It just doesn't really make sense how that happens. They try to explain that it's something to do with torture techniques, but it's not at all plausible. The ending of the game, and both endings of the game actually, there's a secret ending that happens following the credits and an ending that happens before the credits are finished. And both of these endings are essentially crap. Um, Throughout the entire campaign, your character is complimented. Everybody keeps telling you how proud they are of you. It's kind of weird. And frankly, I don't get it very much. It's like an ego boost for people who want to be complimented for killing folks. It, it just doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, I understand that some people are raised in that kind of environment, but it just felt unnerving and bizarre. There are so many problems with the single player campaign on this, I could spend the entire review just covering that, so I'm going to stop now and move on to the next section. Call of Duty Ghosts introduces a new cooperative single and multiplayer mode. It replaces the previous survival mode from Spec Ops mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This new mode really doesn't compare to survival in Modern Warfare 3. It's called Extinction, and in it you fight aliens. It's quite bizarre. Basically, playing Extinction mode is like watching Infinity Ward trying to ape their sort of co-developer, Treyarch. In fact, that could be a suitable summary for most of Call of Duty Ghosts overall. From the campaign changes, to the multiplayer changes, to this new Extinction Mode, a lot of it seems lifted from Treyarch. Extinction Mode was horribly underwhelming, feels very bizarre in the way it's structured at times, feels rather painted by numbers, it feels like every single action you do is rather controlled, there's only a limited number of things you can do, it doesn't feel as chaotic or as unique as anything in Modern Warfare 3. Ultimately it feels too scripted, it feels like you need to level up a good bit before you stand even a half decent chance of surviving in extinction mode. On the plus side it doesn't have the overly convoluted electrics and other devices of zombies mode in black ops zombies mode in black ops had all of these elaborate switches you had to go onto a wikia page in order to figure out you had to go online look up how to do everything because there was basically no indication as to how to do it in game all it says to you when you spawn is find a way to turn on the power but for each map you don't necessarily know how to do that in Extinction Mode, thankfully, a lot of that frustration is removed, but it's not worth playing. Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer is refined, improved, but ultimately more boring than any previous Call of Duty. I attribute its being boring to the lack of machine pistols. Machine pistols were a great category in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 but they were notoriously hard to balance properly, so they've been cut. Now, Call of Duty Ghosts has refined a number of other things that do make the game better, but also make it slower. One of which are large maps. Personally, I think this was the right decision. It means that the player respawns are miles away from each other, and people can't simply camp at different spawns and pick people off which means that the game is not as frustrating. Also, because of these larger maps, the game feels more strategic, which is fantastic. It means that where you position yourself often improves your odds in a gunfight a lot more than just simply your raw reaction time. There are flank routes everywhere in this game. 
you can outflank people constantly, which means that running a short range class is not as much of a disadvantage as it used to be. And running a long range class does not necessarily leave you as vulnerable or as immobile as it used to. Kill streaks have been dialed back. Of course, these days they're called point streaks, but let's just be honest here, they're a lot weaker than they used to be. They're still good, they're still quite potent, but not so potent that they wreck the game like they used to. And I have to admit I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to say something really controversial here, but I've never been a massive fan of point streaks, kill streaks, whatever you want to call them. I don't find them fun. I find them frustrating. They make the game unbalanced, they make it uneven, they mean that somebody who's winning in the beginning of a game continues to have a successive lead throughout the game and it feels like every game mode is decided within the first five minutes or so, with the exception perhaps of Search and Destroy. Call of Duty Ghosts also has too many multiplayer game modes. It simply isn't designed to be a sustainable game that relies on only a handful of game modes and lasts for a number of years within its community. It's designed to be an annual release so that people will get really sick of the game because they'll find that nobody is playing their favorite game mode until the new game is released and there's a sudden spike in interest again. It's a rather bizarre construction. It's seemingly designed to be flawed by default, by choice. It is an intentional design flaw in my opinion. Something that isn't so much an intentional design flaw, however, but just simply a really bad decision, is the introduction of the squads mode. Now, squads mode makes essentially zero sense to me. Why it exists, I don't know. Why it's present at all, I don't know. Why we're supposed to care about it, I have no idea. What you do in the squads mode is you create a branch of characters, just a bunch of characters together in a squad. You level each of these characters up independently, except within the squads mode themselves, where the AI play most of the characters for you, or sometimes you could get a teammate, somebody who's a friend of yours, to play your characters for you if, I don't know, you can find somebody who worships the ground you step on and will do absolutely anything you tell them, because frankly that seems like an incredibly futile thing to do. It sounds horribly boring. Perhaps some clans do that, but it doesn't really make sense from where I'm sitting. The multiplayer in Call of Duty Ghosts is simply overblown. The maps being larger works. There being countless game modes does not work. There being multiple soldiers is fun, but it's not actually necessary. Essentially, there's too much going on in Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer, and it would have needed to be dialed back. The new search and rescue mode basically never gets played. You can look at the PC version of Call of Duty Ghosts and see the players in each game mode. The only game mode that seems to be reliably populated is Team Deathmatch. That's pretty much all. Even Free For All is not reliably, reliably populated anymore. It's actually quite sad, and this is only a few months after the game has been released. I'm already beginning to regret my buying a season pass along with this game. But I think that Call of Duty Ghosts is a great way to round out the Call of Duty series. It's a great summary of all of the previous Call of Duty games over the last half decade or so. And ultimately it's a good game. It's a good game with some really great set piece moments. The only thing is you have to be prepared to accept that it's not going to be as satisfying as previous releases and it's probably going to be the last really, really popular Call of Duty game for a long time. This is pretty much the death of the series, until it's resuscitated maybe in 10 years' time by some totally bizarre uh, reincarnation that makes it so earth-shatteringly brilliant that everyone wants to play it all over again. Until that time comes, I'm Republic of Sandless, and this has been my review of Call of Duty Ghosts.
Oh, I'll wait for everyone to get in and then I'll crawl in and then I'll blow us all up and then you both get in and then get 25 kills. Just so we can see this thing. Oh, here we go. End of the battlefield. Right. Literally everyone's going to be in there anyway so I'm just going to go in now. I don't know where I am though. I'm not too sure where I am. Um, yeah, I'm near there now. Dave, you're already here, so just camp yeah. out somewhere. I want to get in there though. Fuck. Blow you One up. One of these cats is gonna be affected. You know that. Yeah. Wow, you were. No, you weren't the infected. Just let them all come in. Just let them all come in. Watch your back though, yeah, because the thingy infected I might come like, in. Yeah. Come on. I'm pretty much getting everyone in here. Oh mate, I'm really come dead. You two come on in no. here. Oh, he's go, getting go, out. Go, go, go. Jamie, just do it, do it, do it. Jamie with that like quadruple kill, not even quadruple Go on, it's down to you lot now. Get in there and rack up your kills. Yeah, Ultimate troll, man. No, some cunt is gonna do it to us, man. Is he? Is that yours, Craig? Yeah, I'll pick it up. Don't worry. We ain't gonna kill this guy. I'm trying to kill all the ones that ain't you lot. There's that... one more guy in there. Oh, I was about to say, is that drone still coming? There's a guy in there. I'll let you know when the others coming in. There's quite a lot coming through. They're all coming from the right side of you lot. That spike ball, like, on the window. They're not coming in, pussy holes. Yeah, they will, eventually. If not, I'll have to come in. There you go, they're all coming in now. They're just timing it. They're waiting for a perfect time. See if you're distracted by one of them. Whoa, man, as if you hit me with a shotgun from that far. <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> There's a guy there, you can kill him. There you go. I've got him. Uh -huh. Nah, it's only us three left. One of us needs to die. Yeah. Otherwise, we ain't gonna have enough time to deal with it. Unless one of you just come out and then die. Yeah, but I want, I'm the one that wants to get the thing, so it's great. <laughs> Can't win. I'm gonna run out of bullets soon. <laughs> we need yeah, a sacrifice. Run out of bullets, okay. You've got 50 seconds to decide who's the sacrifice. Oh, he's gonna sacrifice himself. As long as, as long as this little cunt don't win. 30 seconds, you've got 30 seconds to, to decide. Right, the fact, uh, me and Craig might just go the whole time without dying, I reckon. <laughs> Here we go, we've got ourselves a kill. Craig, Craig, took it, Craig took it for the team. Oh, okay, fair enough. You've got two minutes to get those kills. Yeah, me and this guy are going to do this. Yeah, come in, I'll run in. Kill me. I keep running yeah, in, don't I? What the fuck? Kills, Dave, go, 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 go. Dave, Dave. Yes. <laughs> Dave, I'm coming in. Which voice? Wait, one sec. I need to put my tacky down, and then I'll put, and then I'll be in. I'm down. I'm jumping down. I'm coming in now. Oh coming God, in. I'm here. Oh, we ain't gonna do this. Now we will. Oh, good. Stupid man. If you um. If they all came in at the same time, we'd be fucked. Yeah. Kill us all. Kill us all. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> it's a bit of an issue. Yeah, you. Oh, no, oh. the little cunt's in. Little oh, fucking bastard. Dave, mate, you got five to go, mate, and then you need to survive. There's one coming from the corner. The corner, the corner, the corner. Oh, <laughs> no. oh no, you fucking jammy little cunt. As if he killed oh, you. Got me. Yeah, is it? Oh, oh mate. Well, that guy might really still get one, though. That might guy might still get one. Nah, I'm not having that. That's yeah, let, the, let this guy get one. I fucking hope he gets one. Quick, kill, kill us all. Go, 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 go. Kill us. Oh, allow it. Get out of there. Got him through the fucking window. <laughs> what? Wait, he got buoyed. I raped him, man. Just like, I'm gonna lay down there quickly and. No, he tucked away. All the dead bodies. Oh. Oh, that was. Nice.